Various engines have long been in existence, yet more efficient and environmentally friendly methods are emerging. They are superior in generating power and propelling vehicles. Leading this shift, Toyota invests in hydrogen energy, viewing its hydrogen engines as superior and believing they will render electric vehicles obsolete. Let's delve into the technological advancements of Toyota's engines, exploring the aspects that position it as a leader and pioneer in sustainable transportation. How does Toyota achieve this? Can its hydrogen engine surpass electric ones? We'll uncover this in this video. So, watch to learn all the details. Toyota's Strategy and Carbon Neutrality Toyota adopts a multifaceted approach in its pursuit of carbon neutrality, offering promising prospects for the renowned Japanese car manufacturer. Since 1997, the company has been at the forefront with the Prius, pioneering hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles, anticipating the current wave of electric cars. Despite its legacy, Toyota is slow in fully embracing the electric vehicle trend. Toyota's stance is particularly intriguing amidst increasing pressures for automotive transition. Several countries, including Australia, Canada, and EU nations, plan to ban gasoline vehicles by 2035. The automotive sector is under significant pressure to switch to electric cars, given the urgency to cut carbon emissions. Moreover, Toyota notably refrained from endorsing the COP26 agreement, which promotes an exclusive shift to electric vehicles by 2040. The company argues that rushing into electric adoption overlooks critical issues, drawing criticism for its controversial position. On the other hand, manufacturers like Jaguar, Cadillac, and Volvo have committed to fully electrifying their vehicle lines by 2025 and 2030, respectively. Despite its innovative reputation, Toyota seems disinterested in a rapidly evolving market. Other automotive giants, such as Honda and Mercedes, are progressing in phasing out gasoline vehicles. Toyota justifies its caution by arguing that a shift to fully electric vehicles is not feasible in the short term. The company views electric power as overhyped and potentially hazardous if adopted en masse, citing high costs and inadequate infrastructure as significant barriers. Currently, electric vehicles comprise about 1% of the global fleet, but this is set to change. As their market presence increases, real challenges will emerge. A major issue will be the demand for electricity. In the United States, energy production needs to rise by 40% by 2030. Expanding the energy supply chain in the United States would require investments of around $100 billion. Considering Brazil's reality, the necessary investments are currently unimaginable. Even in Europe and Asia, where electrical grids are more advanced, the existing infrastructure is far from supporting a total shift to electric. Electric Car Challenges Toyota has voiced several concerns regarding electric cars, focusing on the need for hydrogen-powered technology. They believe this technology will outperform electric engines in the market. Concerns include the limited range of electric vehicles EVs, and the environmental effects of their battery production and disposal. The lack of charging infrastructure is also problematic. Toyota's arguments are logical. Firstly, available energy is insufficient for all electric vehicles. Moreover, global electricity primarily comes from fossil fuels. Increasing the number of EVs will not reduce global emissions, merely shifting their source. Akio Toyota, the company's leader, emphasizes that carbon, not combustion engines, is the real enemy. Broadly, EV adoption varies worldwide. Europe and China are advancing faster than others, like the United States. Some markets, especially in Africa, lag significantly in EV infrastructure. This indicates the world is not yet ready for a collective transition to fully electric vehicles. Toyota fears leaving many consumers without options with the shift to EVs. In 2021, they sold over 10.5 million vehicles in more than 200 countries, with such a vast global market presence, they recognize that many nations lack adequate charging infrastructure. They predict that by 2035, these areas will not have built the necessary infrastructure to support EVs. Currently, EVs are expensive, even with government subsidies. Without these incentives, many could not afford an electric vehicle. 
the company suggests a balanced approach, hybrid vehicles. Toyota invests in hydrogen-powered vehicles, promoting them as zero-emission alternatives to gasoline and diesel cars. They are developing a new engine that burns hydrogen, challenging the EV market. EVs use lithium-ion batteries, and lithium is not abundantly available in nature. With the increase in EV production, Toyota anticipates a lithium shortage, raising concerns about the source of this material. Innovative Automotive Solutions Toyota proposes an effective solution to a current challenge. Instead of opting for larger batteries for purely electric cars, they suggest smaller batteries for hybrid vehicles. This strategy addresses the lithium shortage by using less of the metal. Moreover, hybrid cars emit fewer pollutants than conventional gasoline vehicles. The future, dominated by electric cars, remains uncertain. However, Toyota warns of the growing demand for metals like nickel and manganese, essential for battery manufacturing. This demand could increase battery costs, affecting vehicle prices. The company considers it risky to rely solely on uncertain government incentives, seeing an opportunity for hybrid vehicles to gain market share. Now, let's understand why Toyota believes in the potential of the hydrogen engine. The Toyota Corolla Cross H2 is an innovative example. This vehicle uses a turbocharged three-cylinder 1.6-liter engine, adapted for hydrogen. This engine, common in the GR Corolla and GR Yaris models, has been enhanced for the new energy source. Using hydrogen requires caution due to its high flammability. Toyota leverages its experience with the Mirai, a fuel cell electric vehicle, to develop safe fuel tanks. The engine has been reinforced with components like conrads, valves, and fuel injectors suitable for gas. The Corolla Cross H2 maintains the capacity to accommodate five passengers and luggage, similar to the traditional Corolla. For automobile enthusiasts, the collaboration between Toyota and Yamaha brings more innovation. Together, they developed a hydrogen-powered V8 engine. Based on the Lexus RC model, the 5-liter engine underwent adaptations, including modifications to the cylinder heads and injectors. Yamaha announces the engine will produce 398 lb-ft of torque, or 455 horsepower. Despite having less power than a gasoline V8, the performance of the hydrogen engine is remarkable. Its highlight is the 8 into 1 exhaust manifold, producing a unique high frequency sound. Refueling an internal combustion engine vehicle may not be exciting, but Yamaha and Toyota are changing this perspective. The future of hydrogen in vehicles. Refueling a vehicle with hydrogen is a straightforward process, akin to filling a propane tank. For instance, the Toyota GR Yaris H2 can be topped up in just a minute and a half, markedly quicker than refueling a Toyota Camry with gasoline. Diesel, commonly utilized in heavy-duty vehicles, can solidify in extremely cold climates. In contrast, unleaded gasoline withstands temperatures down to minus 70 degrees Celsius, even under harsh, icy winds. Lithium batteries function down to minus 95 degrees Celsius. However, hydrogen outperforms them all, operating efficiently in temperatures as low as minus 260 degrees Celsius, making it superbly suited for both intensely cold and hot environments, surpassing gasoline and diesel in this regard. The extraction of lithium battery materials, such as lithium and nickel, presents challenges. Concerns about potential shortages of these materials could complicate the production of batteries for electric vehicles. Hydrogen engines, if properly developed, could circumvent delays in the shift toward electric vehicles. While electric vehicles represent innovation, they lack the auditory experience of classic cars, like the Chevrolet Opala SS hydrogen-powered vehicles, operating similarly, could revive the thrilling driving experience. Presently, almost every neighborhood has repair shops. However, with the rise of electric vehicles, this convenience might decline. Electric vehicle maintenance often requires specialized mechanics and isn't easily learned through online tutorials. Hydrogen engines, being mechanical and similar to combustion engines, imply that local garages could continue repairing these vehicles. Despite its advantages, hydrogen poses challenges. It is highly flammable, difficult to handle and store, and when burned, 
produces nitrous oxide. Toyota adopts a diverse approach to carbon neutrality, considering multiple technologies, unlike other manufacturers focusing solely on electric vehicles. With the energy crisis in Europe, particularly due to the conflict in Ukraine, Switzerland has recommended limiting the use of electric vehicles to emergencies. This could lead to legislation. The path to hydrogen vehicle success is feasible but faces competition from electric vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles have advantages like greater range and faster refueling. However, technological advancements are needed for widespread adoption. Hydrogen production is still expensive and reliant on fossil fuels. Additionally, the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling stations is limited. The popularity of traditional electric vehicles might overshadow the potential of hydrogen-powered ones. People need compelling reasons to switch from their Teslas to hydrogen models. Until then, the popularity of these vehicles may remain low. Innovations in Hydrogen Vehicles the technology behind hydrogen fuel cells is not new. It originated in the late 1960s to provide power for NASA's space flights. Over time, this technology has evolved. It is now applicable to terrestrial vehicles, replacing internal combustion engines. These fuel cells consist of an electrolyte membrane, an anode, and a cathode. When hydrogen is introduced at the anode, it splits into protons and electrons. The protons pass through the membrane, turning into water. The electrons generate electricity as they travel through a circuit. Unlike conventional electric vehicles that rely on batteries, hydrogen cell vehicles have a compressed hydrogen tank. The electricity produced powers the motors, releasing only water vapor, without pollution. A significant advantage of hydrogen vehicles is their range. For instance, the Hyundai Nexo travels 620 kilometers on a full tank, while the Toyota Mirai reaches 650 kilometers. In comparison, a standard electric vehicle has an average range of 400 kilometers. Another benefit is refueling time. Electric vehicles take 8 to 40 hours to charge, whereas hydrogen refueling is completed in minutes, similar to a gasoline car. Companies like Toyota and Hyundai offer free refueling to promote this technology. Toyota provides six years or $15,000 in free hydrogen, whichever comes first. Hyundai offers similar conditions but with three years or a thousand refills. However, refueling infrastructure is scarce. In the United States, there are about 60 stations in California and 15 in Great Britain. In Canada, the numbers are even lower. This scarcity directly impacts the popularity of these vehicles. The cost of hydrogen is another hurdle. After promotional periods, refueling with hydrogen can be expensive compared to gasoline prices. For hydrogen cars to be competitive, refueling costs need to be equivalent to those of electric vehicles. However, this cost parity remains distant. Furthermore, the sustainability of hydrogen is questionable. Current production largely depends on fossil fuels, accounting for 91% of the total. Although the vehicles emit no pollutants, hydrogen production contributes to pollution. Renewable methods for hydrogen production are needed to boost public interest. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is still evolving. Over time, it may become more accessible and environmentally friendly, competing with electric vehicles. However, battery technology is also advancing, improving electric vehicles' range and potentially neutralizing hydrogen vehicles' advantage. Ultimately, the choice lies with consumers. Both electric and hydrogen technologies have the potential to contribute to more sustainable transport. It's not expected that one will completely replace the other, but rather they will coexist, catering to different needs. Some will prefer electric vehicles for their energy efficiency and low emissions, while others will opt for hydrogen for the longer range and quicker refueling. This diversity offers options for various lifestyles and promotes a more flexible transition to sustainable transport practices. So, what do you think about Toyota's upcoming hydrogen engine? Do you believe hydrogen vehicles will surpass electric ones in popularity? Drop your comment below and don't forget to check out what others are saying too.